This is the Marvel Legends series 3.75 inch comic pack two packs mechanical masters the whole set is part of the first wave of these new marvel legend series 3.75 inch two packs for 2016 and this pack features the mechanical masters the superior iron man and machine man machine man is that right marvel's machine man all right we'll put them off to the side for now okay I'll show you the packaging. This is a sort of a new packaging. It uh, mimics the single carded uh, Marvel Legend series 3.75 inch figures with the indent with the sort of uh, tapering uh, sides, edges. And I don't understand why the Photoshop pictures are always done like very dark, like a nighttime uh, with just a red background. I don't know what the deal with that is. Shouldn't it be all bright? Like, you know, maybe. I'm I'm not sure if they're doing it through because they're they're they have this whole Secret Wars dark you know thing going on like Doomsday look to it but all the Photoshop figures are just so dark I guess they're trying to hide all the flaws of the figures I, I don't know so anyway Machine Man and the Superior Iron Man and it also comes with a uh, comic book with an exclusive cover uh, custom edition cover uh for for this two pack this is the secret wars uh cover but it, the comic book is not a secret wars comic book it is a special edition of superior iron man number one superior iron man big fan of the iron man comic book but this is one storyline that i was not particularly fond of uh if you've read the events of axis uh tony stark decided not to revert to his good side he did some steps uh, so that he would not revert back to his good side or to his conscientious or or his side with a conscience. So he got rid of his conscience, sort of, and he, he became what would be if Iron Man just didn't care and he became the superior Iron Man. Uh, not really fond of it. I, I like stories with the good with the bad guys trying to turn over a new leaf, becoming a good guy like Sabretooth or Carnage, but good guys becoming bad? Something just didn't sit well with me and I, I wasn't that big of a fan. Nevertheless, it is an Iron Man figure. I had to pick it up because I need to add it to my collection. If you Let's start with the Iron Man figure that came with it. If, if it looks very familiar, that's because they, Hasbro recycled the... Uh, you can't see it. Let me just put this off to the side. Okay. They recycled the Extremist Armor Marvel Universe Iron Man. They made a new I think they made a new body sculpt the torso legs arms shoulder pads hips uh, are I think the same which is great they didn't do anything to it the articulation seems to be the same however the sent obviously the center torso the upper torso piece is different let me see if I can focus on that See, obviously it's different. Uh, the neck seems to be the same. Um, you know what? It's actually the same torso piece. They just changed the reactor, the arc reactor. This one is a triangle piece that's actually just glued on. So they just changed it into a circle piece, but it's exactly the same torso. Yup. Damn you, Hasbro. <laughs> Uh, the neck is this looks to be the same, if I'm not mistaken. That ball joint is different though. It's a, I think it's a bigger one. Yep, definitely a little bit different from this one. And they gave it a new head sculpt, which is great. I like that. A new head sculpt is always a welcome, a welcome uh, uh, retooling for a particular figure. But it's basically the same figure. Okay, so I just need him from my shelf, an, an iteration of the Iron Man armor. Uh, paint apps on the figure, eh, it's okay. They had to add those blue dots here and there just to make him look like the superior Iron Man. That's fine. The blue highlights, okay. Uh, yeah, I just wish they made the silver. Well, it's, it's a nice silver, don't get me wrong. It's a pearlesque type of grayish silver. Just wish they made it a little bit more shiny or shinier. Uh, but I'm okay with it. I'm just nitpicking. The figure, the figure actually looks great. I was a big fan of that mold. 
extent the plastics all faded out articulation is basically the same you got a bald you got a ball joint neck on a hinge ball jointed upper torso ball hinge shoulders bicep swivel hinge elbow swivel wrist ball jointed hips thigh swivel double jointed knees ball hinge ankles no rocker joints so all in all I actually like the figure, just wish they gave it a new mold, but it's a nice retool. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Not too bad, Hasbro. Okay, now for Machine Man. If you have the Marvel Legends Machine Man, this is what he looks like for the Marvel Legends line. It's a diff This one is a d lot different uniform. The head looks kind of the same with that freaky red eyes. But they didn't give him any interchangeable arms. These arms are not, they don't, you can't remove it. Or, so you can probably customize it by removing the whole forearm assembly and replacing it with another one. But as it is, I like it. Machine Man. And unfortunately, this uses the new 2014-2015 Marvel Infinite Series mold. And it's a solid torso piece with no articulation whatsoever. It's got a ball jointed neck, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows. Ball jointed hips, th double jointed knees, and ball hinge ankles with the rocker joints. So, not bad, not bad at all. I love the detail on the mechanical arms, on the weaponized arms. I like that. I actually like the way this costume turned out. I actually like this one better, but this one isn't too bad. Uh, they tried to save on the paint apps. It's just purple on black plastic. Not bad. Uh, hardly any problems or quality issues with the paint apps. The head sculpt turned out great. Um, if you're looking through the shelves or the pegs, just make sure that the purple doesn't fill up all that black space on his forehead. There should be a little bit of black right there. Other than that, this figure looks great. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because of the lack of articulation. Had this one used the Cyclops, the Jim Lee Cyclops or Daredevil mold, this would have been a fantastic, fantastic looking figure. So, put that there. All in all, the set will get a 9 out of 10 for me. I love it. Uh, I didn't think I would like it as much. I just wanted it for the Iron Man, but the Machine Man, uh, Machine Man actually surprised me. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. So, well done, Hasbro. Good enough. It's a nice retool. Well done. There you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video review. This has been the Marvel Legends series 3.75 inch comic pack, two packs, Mechanical Masters featuring the Superior Iron Man and the Machine Man. Thanks for watching.